Most of us are very familiar with Pinterest. It's a great place to collect inspiration and collaborate with our clients. What you may not realize is just what a powerful marketing tool Pinterest can be. Pinterest came on the scene roughly three years ago and estimates 70 million global users. That is some serious traffic. So here are some facts that I don't think you can afford to ignore. 60% of major brands are on Pinterest and 80% of the users of this three-year-old company are young, affluent women who love to shop. More than 80% of the content shared on Pinterest are repins of pictures from other users. Pinterest referrals spend 70% more money than visitors referred from non-social channels. Pinterest is the fastest growing social media platform to date, dethroning Twitter. So learning how to use Pinterest to effectively market your business can be a bit daunting. So I've put together my top tips. First, set up a business account. Many people simply start boards on their personal account for business activities. Now, that's okay, but you're not getting the same benefits as you would with a business account. The most important thing about a business account is it has analytics, which means you can see what pins are most clicked, liked, repinned, etc. You can also see how many people are visiting your website from Pinterest and how many photos are being pinned from your actual site. Remember to create original content. When using Pinterest to market your business, follow the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your content needs to be original. That means that you are creating pins that link back to your website. They are images from your weddings or links to your blog posts, anything like that. 80% of all activity on Pinterest is repinning, so you want to be providing the content that gets the pins. The remaining 20% of your pins can be repins. Just remember that repinning is promoting someone else's content. Remember to optimize your pins. When you create your original pins, make sure that you are optimizing for the best search results and the greatest chance for a click and a repin. Try using the following to make your pins fully optimized. Remember to have a call to action in the caption. Something like click here or repin this. Keywords. What words would be used to search for this topic or type for image, including your web link in the caption? If you sell a product and you want them to know the price up front, include it in the caption. Comment on other pins for exposure. Now, not many people comment on other pins. It's a really wildly underutilized feature. The best way to reach your target market through commenting is to follow people who have the same sort of base or demographic that you serve. When they pin something that you can add an insightful or valuable comment under, then do it because your comment will place your brand name in front of everyone who follows that pinner. Now try dripping your pins. What I mean by that is pinning it multiple times per day. If you are just setting up an account, you will probably pin a lot of pins at once and that's fine since you won't have a lot of followers. But once you get going, try not to pin more than 10 pins at a time. If you pin a load at once, you're going to overtake the feeds of your followers and they may just skim over everything or even worse, unfollow you. Now these are just a few tips to get started using Pinterest to market your wedding business. Pinterest really is a great place to engage with brides who are looking for inspiration. But like all social media channels, you need to spend time on it or it won't work. So that was a brief overview on using Pinterest for your wedding business. Remember, we've been training wedding planners, stylists and designers for over 10 years and we have courses to suit all abilities and levels. So hop over to one of our websites to see what's on offer and you can become an accredited professional today.